What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into tea room. Rissa allegedly cheating on Quan. I don't know. Let's get it. So now yesterday, I spoke on this whole situation that shocked the internet. After Quan went onto Instagram and announced that he was single, he stated single for life on my sister. And then supporters noticed that Rissa and Quan were no longer following each other on Instagram and Quan removed all of his photos with Rissa off of his page, but Rissa didn't remove her photos of Quan. Then Quan went onto threads and stated, I don't trust nobody and sometimes I wish I went another route on certain situations, but you live and you learn. He also states, I ain't eat ish all day. I wish I had an appetite shaking my head. So it appears that he's really going through it. He also posted, even if I lost everything, I still have me and that's enough to start again. It's never over. So now apparently they're on vacation right now in the Bahamas and Rissa started posting photos with her and Quan, which confused a lot of people because Quan was just stating that He's single, they're not together. He erased all his photos of her. So now people in the comment section were stating things like, okay, what is this all about? I'm lost. Someone also states, so Quan IG got hacked or someone right. else says, Rissa, you better be playing girl. Another person states, why would he put that on his sister that he was single? He don't play about his sister. Was he hacked? We need answers. Now, people noticed that Quan posted photos in the Bahamas as well, but he didn't include Rissa or the kids in his post. So then people started jumping to the conclusion that Rissa had to be the one that did something wrong oh, and that God. she possibly cheated. Someone on Twitter states, everyone is saying Rissa cheated. I personally cannot see that. I'm not saying it didn't happen, but she just seems like she's so in love with that man. Girl, she ain't cheating. And he's her everything. Now, another person on Twitter stated, Rissa and Quan breaking up. Yeah, they saying she cheated. So again, I'm assuming that everyone is thinking that Rissa may have cheated because she's the one that's still posting photos of him and he completely removed her and stated that he can't trust anyone so now you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below do you guys think that this is real i think that's a hell of a reach i do think it's real i don't think neither one of them cheated i think he's not getting what he wants out of the relationship like most men because he made that statement like I, when i like when men say i tried everything i could and all that uh it's either like the woman don't feel like he doing enough or he don't feel like she doing enough. It's something like that. Or is it a prank? I'm seeing a lot of people thinking that this can't even be real. They do a lot of breakup pranks. So maybe this is just a prank. So again, leave your thoughts on that down below. Putting it on his sister and it's a prank. It's kind of crazy. But let's move on to this next topic with Corey and Maddie. Now, of course, there's been a lot of drama going on this past week with Carmen and Corey after Carmen <laughs> dropped that single exposing Corey for actually putting hands on her. Well, now Maddie is actually exposing that she may actually be pregnant. Now, on Twitter, someone tweeted, I'm having a baby in 2025 maddie stated literally with a heart so now if she is pregnant that would make her do sometime in 2025 so i don't know do you guys think maddie and corey are having a baby but let's move on to this next topic with the taylor girls now they recently damn that's all i got to say did this video coming out on their channel that they are both pregnant and people may have heard Ty accidentally give away the gender of her baby. Help with what? Help me. What? My child. So you're already planning to put your child up on another one. Not planning to put them off, more so planning to help so I can be able to structure, learn more, learn more structure. And to be able to still I think you should just bond with your child and learn how to be an adult. I am.
Now, people are stating Ty said not putting him off on she anybody. Did. So it's a boy. I'm so excited for you both. I love you both so much. So now you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Of course, all of this is speculation. I don't know. Put him off or put him off. Both sound the same. So. But now Daisha did have her baby girl yesterday. So congratulations to Daisha and Quick. Okay, I'm gonna do a question and answer while I'm in the hospital because I have nothing else to do. But rest, since I had such a extensive surgery, it's not really much I can do. I'm going walking today in the own hospital just to try to get my body back. Um, get my you gotta give away your whole body to have these children, man. I'm straight. My body back in the mood. <laughs> so send me questions. Um, baby sleep. So, mommy has nothing to do. I did pump. I'm about to show y'all my first little bit of cholesterol that came out. I'm so excited. Y'all know milk don't usually drop to like, y'all see it? That's, I think they be calling that liquid gold or something. But that's like my first little bit of cholesterol that comes out that the baby could drink. <sighs> They call it cholesterol. I'm going to bring me a syringe. I think I will. So I can suck it out. And when she wake up, I can give it to her. But mm. as of right now, that's what my little booby on is produced. I'm waiting for my milk to physically come in and start dropping. Um, but that's a good start. That was a great start. You know you're doing so it on purpose, that. baby. That was a great start. So... Mm -hmm. So ask me questions. So I'm feeling well. Um, and she weighed seven pounds, nine ounces. She was not eight pounds, but she was close. She was seven pounds, nine ounces. Big right? Wasn't she seven pounds, nine ounces? Seven pounds, nine ounces. And I'm feeling good. I just have a lot of pressure down. Um, where I had the C section at. And I think mm, she because has a I got cut a second time in the same spot, I oh. think that's what's making it hurt even worse. It's like double the pain. Like, I don't think I felt, I, I don't I know for a fact, I did not feel this much pain when I got my first C-section. So this one is going to be a lot harder for me. I can already tell you that much. But for the most part, I feel back to normal. Yesterday, I was out of it. I was drugged up yesterday. I don't know what I was doing yesterday. As long as she wasn't in no pain. So the baby does. I think personally she favors me when I was a super duper small newborn. Like when I first came out, she looked like me. Who calling? Okay. Oh, who calling? They knew you were lying. She does look like me. I'm going to put a picture of once, that, once I drop what she looked like. I'm going to put a picture of us next to each other if she looked like me. Right. Resident Carter has no. like, so, calling. Um, I feel good. I got two girls, got two besties for life. I feel good. Just it's getting dream in the transition because I feel like she know, but then she don't know, and I think she's a little scared. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what because yesterday when she came to meet the baby, she um. She like started crying, like she jumped, like she was scared of the baby. So I don't know. She trying to. It's a transition, and then today I was like, "You want to see your baby sister?" She's like, "No." So I was oh. just trying to get her. <laughs> she don't want to be bothered. <laughs> like to understand that this is a baby that's gonna be here forever for the rest of your life. This is your best friend. This is your sister. This is your life partner. So just getting. It's gonna really click when she gets her home. Yeah, I think it'll click once she get home. So, but as far as me, I feel good knowing that I have two. I feel good knowing that this is my last rodeo. That's what I feel the most good about. Cause I'm not doing it again. Oh, oh I'm not okay. doing it again. This is it. You hear me? It I T capitalized letters <laughs> exclamation marks. Never again. Oh, wow. I ain't doing it at all, so. <laughs> she just got nieces and nephews galore. All right, y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I am done with this video. I'm posting these videos on Patreon first, so um, they will get it. 
And that's just kind of that okay. on that because for some reason YouTube is not letting me update. I mean, upload right now. So they they do this once a year. No worries. Maybe they did it twice already this year. But anyway, bye.